All right, so we're almost there. We've got all our pages finished. We've got the template and all the wording and our content in there as we want it. And now I just wanted to show you a few quick things that you could do to just give it a little bit more pop. Um, that way it's just not like the static page that you're looking at. One thing would be to add animations. And the way to do that, like say I want the, this picture when it you know, comes to that page to move a little bit. So what I would do is click here on animate, move my big head there. And then you can try some different ones here. It gives you a, like a little preview of what it would do. So I kind of like the pop one. So I would pick that and then you could slow the speed down or speed it up. So I think I would do it right about there and then we're good. So that's just another little thing that you can do. And you can do that with just certain elements or you could just do it with your pictures. Um, just adding that little element of movement, you know, can catch the eye and make it more exciting as you're, uh, walk, as you're scrolling through the pages, should I say. So with the tech words, I would, could do the same or the category words, should I say. And then you can choose the kind of type, maybe like a typewriter, tectonic. There's all different options here. So I will just stick with the pop since that's what I'm using on the other ones. So that's what I would do. Try to not overdo it with the animations, but on certain things, like just for your category pages, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Those I would probably leave alone. And then here again with the picture, I can add an animation. Or I kind of like the, um, the rise one. And you could say down or up. So whichever looks best to you. And then you could slow it down so it's not going too fast during the page, page change. So that's just one little thing you could do. Another, let's say on the tech pages, it's looking a little, I don't know, kind of plain or something. You want to add some elements. Just go over here to elements. And let's say I just want to put, let's say tech, since that's, this is the tech category. And I want to filter it to animated. So then it's only going to bring up animated graphics that I can add here. So if I want to add something here that's, you know, going to give the vibe of, of tech, then I could do that maybe like a little search symbol. Maybe not. You can play around until you find something that you like. Um, I'm going to look here for laptop. You can just play with the words until you find something you like. That's the fun of it. So maybe something like this. I can put that at the corner since I kind of got like a, and you could change the colors on this one, which is cool. So you could do that. This is more of a static picture here, uh, which is fine. But if you want to add one that has animation, you could pick any of these here. So oh, here's one, in fact. You can, of course, it's way too big there, but just play with it, resize it, whatever you want to do, just, just play. It's like being a kid again. Just get in there and see what you can do to make it exciting. All right. So that's something else. Just, uh, you know, type in what it is you're looking for. If you're looking for beauty, type in beauty and it'll give you all kinds of graphics that you can find in there. All right. So that's one thing. Now, the other thing, now I'm going to close this out. We're going to go, let's say this is all done. It's the way we want it. Now it comes time to publish. Bum, bum, bum. All right, we're going to click on the publish website button. And once it, you're going to publish it, you can't design anything on it. You can go later and, re, and make changes but at this point you can't make any more changes. So it's going to ask you whether you want to do it without navigation or with navigation. So the difference is uh, if you let, have a template or your website already has these links that we created or that if it came with a template, then you want it without navigation because if you do it with navigation, it's going to have another uh, bar here 
for the menu, which is not going to look good. But I'll show you what I mean when I go to do that. Uh, then we're going to do, you could either do a free domain, but we would highly recommend that. And I would, you know, it's going to give you a lot more professional look. If you get a domain, you can buy one right through Canva or use an existing domain. And I would highly recommend you just go to GoDaddy and get a domain that's going to um, have your name or, you know, something that is very clear, not this camera dot sites dot blah, 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 because that's just not going to, you know, look very professional. So you'll do that. You use an existing name, let's say, and I have my content by Christy, which I already published, so I can't use that one. Uh, but then you could add another domain. And then, for example, then you would just type the domain in that you bought with GoDaddy. And then it's going to automatically pick up on that and know, oh, it, I, that's a GoDaddy link. And then it'll just take you through the steps to get it connected. And it, it takes like literally a minute to do that. So once you've done that, I'm going to just say, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say with navigation, so you can see what that looks like. And I'm going to just say free domain for now. All right. And then you're going to go see the URL up here, and then you could change it. You see all the things we did, make just kind of double checking. So you can change the path of this. So what I would say for this is Christy portfolio. Now, mind you, this is your free um, name that you get with Canva. Um, I have mine called demo sites and I can add however many paths I want to with that. This is the preview of what your site's going to look like. You can add a description. This is like for SEO purposes. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and click publish. So then it's going to go through the process of publishing your website. So once this gets published, we're going to take a look at the previews because it's going to be very important the way it looks, not just on a regular laptop, but especially on mobile because if it doesn't look good on mobile, then you're going to have some problems. All right. So we're going to go ahead and view website. Now, remember I told you about the, the navigation, we published it with the navigation. So if you don't have this here, then you'll have, remember when we named every page on uh, the template, this is what this is here. When it, when you publish it with animation. So, so it's going to have all these, it's going to do that. So it'll have this menu up here, but we don't want to have two menus, right? So pick one or the other, either you do it with navigation and you take this out or you do without navigation. And then it'll just look nice without this double menu that you don't need. All right, so that is just to show you why you need to do that. Um, you know, make sure you publish it the right way. All right, so I'm gonna, let's say we wanna make some changes. If you do, you're gonna have to edit it and then it says you're gonna have to publish it again. So if you go back to make any changes, then you will have to just publish it again. It's not, it's just like press the button and publishes it. Uh, so let's go ahead and say edit design. And I'm going to go to preview. All right. So this is how you go before you even publish it. I probably should have showed you the step first, but this is how you'll preview what it's going to look like. That's how it's going to look with navigation and then without. You see how much better that looks. <laughs> so we want definitely want it to look like that. So this is you know, right here, it shows you what's going to look on like on desktop, which is what we're looking at right now. So we're just scrolling through, making sure everything looks, you know, the way that we want it to.
which is fine. And then I'm going to click here on mobile. So this is a very important step. So you want to look through this just to make sure there isn't anything that looks funky and make sure this is checked here where it says resize on mobile. So that way when the website is opened up on mobile, it's not like really funky looking. I might have to adjust that number there if it's a little off. If anything that's a little off looking, you just might want to um, fix that up. So these, like see here, these are kind of, um, this is why you have to look at mobile because these, the text is not looking good with the video here. Now here is looking more like the way I want it to, but for some reason, the other ones are not. So I'll have to go back and just make some adjustments to fix that, but it's not a big deal. It's really, it's really just making sure everything probably have to increase the, the, I think that's what I need it to do. I need to increase the size on the text so that it pushes everything down. So that is the only thing about Canva websites is it doesn't give you like the same control you would have with like WordPress or some other platform to resize things on mobile versus desktop. I'm pretty sure it's in the works. I can't say when that will happen, but it would certainly be nice to be able to do that. But for now, you'll have to just play around with it until it looks right. All right, so let's say that looks good. And then we can go through the steps of publishing it uh, like we did before. So that's it. And now I'm gonna show you the finished product of the website that I did. So this is the finished website. And another thing, that you want to do as well is to check all the links to make sure they're going where they need to go. All right. So that's looks right. That goes down to my, just check all the links and make sure they go to the page they're supposed to go to. It's just a very simple step. This is part of finishing your website. It doesn't take much time, but you don't want things going to the wrong pages. Um, I have all these linked out correctly to whatever socials you have. I have my Amazon storefront link there as well. Uh, and then just go through it and read it and make sure it looks good. Uh, see, this was the about page that I changed. I wasn't crazy about the other one. So I just made my own so I could have a more, more my own personality in there. And then here is my work and it's different categories. I have pets, fitness. RV travel home. It might be overkill, but this is just <laughs> to have a lot of different things that are different types of work that I've done. Now services, I put a big picture on this and I just put the sort of services, what, you know, what it's how to videos and whatnot photos. And then I had a separate page just for rates. So this is what I was talking about. I had all that placeholder text in the other one, but here you can see what it might really look like with, you know, all the kind of fine print details. And then you can have some basic prices and packages and then everything else, you could just say request pricing for those things, however you like to do that. And then finally on the contact page, this one, I kind of made it my own and added my picture. And then also at the bottom, I made sure to have everything going to the right page. I might need to fix one or two of those, but that's, that's the point of going through your links to make sure they're going to the right page. See, that's going to rates and that's going to, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't fix the bottom ones or change the bottom ones. So that's something I've got to do. And then if you have any other social links here, make sure they're all linked. So it's just really, it's just double checking everything at the end. You've already done the hard work. You've already, you know, done your website. Now it's just a matter of making sure, kind of combing through it to make sure it looks good. But you see how easy it is and you can have so much fun with it playing with all the elements in the Canva library. I mean, literally like millions of elements and fun things that you can do. So I hope that you enjoyed this little video series on creating a Canva website. This is just 
very basic and you know there's a whole lot more you can do with it but i really just wanted to help you get started and i hope you enjoyed thanks and see you next time